Acute inflammation is a response of vascularized tissue, this is tissue with blood vessels, to damage or infection that brings immune cells from the neighboring blood vessels to the area of injury to lead to wound healing or resolution. The typical signs of acute inflammation is heat, redness, pain, swelling, and sometimes loss of function. The main steps that occur in acute inflammation are one, firstly the stimulus, then chemical mediator release, then the vascular phase, number four, the cellular phase, and then five, being repair or resolution. In this case, we've got a thorn that has penetrated through the skin. This would be the stimulus causing both necrosis of cells that are immediately damaged, as well as introducing pathogens into the tissue. Step two would be certain neighboring or resident immune cells such as macrophages, mast cells or dendritic cells pick up these pathogens or damaged cells and release mediators. Mediators, for example, mast cells released histamines or prostaglandins or um, certain cytokines. These chemicals then go to the neighboring blood vessels where they interact with the cells that line the blood vessels called in endothelial cells and the response being at the vascular phase is both vascular dilation as well as endothelial shrinkage. This leads to heat and redness by increased blood flow to the area and as the, as the blood vessels become leaky, more fluid goes out into the tissue which causes the swelling and pain. Then we move to the cellular phase where certain immune cells, now in acute inflammation this would be neutrophils and macrophages, they move out of the blood vessels and migrate to the site of injury. Here they phagocytose or eat up damaged cells or certain pathogens and clear the area away, move into the last phase being repair or resolution where we have more blood vessels go into the area, bring in certain repair cells like fibroblasts which then close off the site and then ultimately we get a repair or resolution.